In today's video, we're gonna be fishing for sewer rats. Literally. But first, we've gotta find the entry points. Let's get started. We've lived here 13 years. Okay. Never heard activity. Okay. Until we did the addition, which was two years ago. And here is where the <clears throat> piping for the old bathroom was taken out or whatever. So we was hoping to tear open the wall and see an open pipe or something. Was right. there droppings, any, any signs of rooms? Yeah. Yeah. There was. Yeah. Okay. The pipe was capped nice and tight. We don't know what to do. It's driving us nuts. You can see we opened up a little spot at the just, ceiling. I put a hole up there just so I could put traps and I catch them every now and then, but. Oh, you would catch them? Yeah. Okay. It's almost like they would get caught in the trap and then maybe run, drag die them away. maybe. Drag them away. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, we woke up one morning to maggots. Days later, we had like full flies. Oh, that's lovely. No attic, no crawl space, absolutely no accessibility to this house. This is going to be challenging, guys. I strongly believe it's gonna be that plumber that forgot about some type of vent. I just have this feeling, but let's see if I'm right. All right, so we've got uh, big guns and mi gente getting the smoke machine ready to go. Mi gente, how are you feeling today? Good, good in yourself. Are you, are you think we're gonna get this or what, what's your prediction here today? Yes, we are. We're gonna solve this issue. Is it gonna what, be an what, external what, hole or sewer? What, what's your prediction? I, I have a feeling it's gonna be sewer. Sewer, okay. Yes. But who do you think's going to find the actual entry point that nobody's figured out? Is it gonna be me or Jimmy? Be, For this honest. one, I'm gonna go with Dave. Yes! <laughs> okay, Anthony, um, what, what, what do you think, bud? Just be honest. Again, I don't take things personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think probably Jimmy on this but, one. But, but, but wait, 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 Okay, look at this. I figured out a solution that I'm gonna share with you right now. So we're simply gonna just remove these. Cause you know, at the end of the day, you guys, yes, it's cheap to go ahead and put your wire mesh over this and put screws into your vent pipes. These rust out over time, it's not, it's not sustainable. So what I've created is the rodent vent cap, PVC and ABS. And the great thing about this, it's one size fits all. So four inch, look at this, this is two inch. Look at this, this is inch and a half. Boom, look at that, solid. The other benefit to this too, if you do have birds that are landing here, you can have uh, put spikes in here. And also, it allows you to put a repellent down these vent pipes as well. Super excited, guys, to roll these out. They're awesome. Well, now, that's brilliant. Right below this was that powder bathroom that they were talking about. Here's a patch. This is suspect. Jim's onto something here. We're gonna smoke them out. Never seen that before. So this right here is right above the powder bath. This smells very, very bad. I'm gonna go ahead and have somebody come up here and do a smell test just to confirm. We gotta do a smell test here. I don't think Enrique knows how to open this up, guys. <laughs> but you should see something here. Cause you know, he's on Dave's team. So I don't really have a lot of respect for him right now, so I get to talk the way I want to talk. <laughs> oh, there you go. And there's the issue right there. There's the issue right there. Yeah. Brian. Hey. Will you do a sniff check? Tell me if you think there's rats coming through that. Oh, oh yeah. That's it, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Homeowners are on their way to do a sniff check and we're gonna explain to them how the rats were getting in. How so do the you. sniff check and tell me if you smell any type of rodent smell. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it smells like my closet. Is you want to smell? <laughs> no, you're up here. You have to do it. If you came up on the ladder. <laughs> so here's what the rats were doing. They were coming up through your city sewer, climbing up through here, dumping right into your ceiling. And a lot of pest control companies miss this. Okay. They'll seal up and then we get calls three years later. They go, guys, do have rats. So what we would like to do is correct this and then we'll set up a monitoring camera with our traps. Here's a great spot for trapping. You can see all the droppings in there. Oh yeah. Now it's time for the fun part. All right, so David is excluding that right now. So technically this pipe should come up about 12 inches above this flashing, but this is gonna be fine, especially if you're on a budget. The main thing is keeping these rats out permanently. So what we do is we just take this wire mesh like this, make sure that it's secured. Now, now that that's done, we're going to now exclude the roofing plywood there so the rats don't come out. And then we'll set up our monitoring cameras and our traps. And I'll just use this to push down this wire mesh into place. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so Victor's getting the hoodie and the bait tugger all set up. And he's got the camera, so what we're going to do is mount this camera so we can set the trap here and we can monitor tonight. All right, so Anthony's getting all the electrical set up for the camera so we can monitor it. What's your prediction, Anthony? Think we're going to catch anything? It's a 50-50 chance, right? Yeah, it's a 50-50. There's more activity on this side, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably tonight. Tonight? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Pretty sure. Let's hope so. All right, so Jimmy set up a trap on the roof vent there just using peanut butter. I've mixed up a special blend, a secret blend, to hopefully catch a rat. Look at that. Right in our bait tugger here, and that's what it looks like mixed up. If it continues to catch more rats than regular peanut butter, because by far, if you're going to bait and you're going to catch rats, peanut butter by far is the best bait. But is it better than my special blend? Because there is peanut butter. So here we go. We're gonna set this up in the ceiling space here. Can't use our bait station because this is such a very tight opening. I don't even know if I can get a rat trap up here without, well they did, clipping my fingers. Yeah, but the other ones didn't have a hoodie. Oh, here we go. Oh, watch my fingers. I can't watch this, man. Guys, wish me luck. Jimmy's got one on me. I gotta catch these rats. You guys saw this up in their attic. Um, these do not work. This is a lower cost one. They make ones that are three, four hundred dollars. It's it's a waste of money, you guys. An absolute waste. And you can see that with all of our videos. People go to poisons. People go to repellents, uh, peppermint. All of that doesn't work. Our jobs are a testimony to that because look at they've had this up there and they've had activity. All right, um, it's pretty shocking. The homeowner just said that one of the pest controllers stated that put some owls, these plastic owls, on the roof and around the yard and the rats will go away. Probably one of the most absurd things I've ever heard. But what we're about to show you right now might be a little absurd too, so <laughs> it kind of goes both ways. Let's get to sewer rat fishing. We gotta have some fun, but it so, does sound does sound like let's do a little it. absurd. Let's do it. All right, let's try it. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got the blue fishing pole. I'm gonna I'm dropping my minute. bait down precisely. I mean precisely down into the sewer clean out, and it's right there, perfect, perfect location. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the bobber up because the camera right here is going to be monitoring the movement of this. Right above the flow. We don't want to be snagging up a bunch of toilet paper. So we're just above the flow line of the sewer. All right, we're using a number 20 treble hook here. It's the smallest they had. Oh yeah. Day two. It's been 48 hours and they haven't taken our bait. We usually trap these rats out of these ceilings within this time frame. So Jimmy, 
is getting ready. The good news is, is I asked her, was it louder than normal? She said yes. So that right there is giving me some hope. But why aren't those rats taking our bait within that small ceiling? I think they're cannibalizing, to be honest with you. The good news is we camped out seven minutes away from the job site. So we're going to get there this morning. We're going to do a little bit more digging, maybe re-strategize our rat traps, set some more cameras. Thought we were going to just solve this within 48 to 72 hours, guys. It's not happening. It happens. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out. There was some motion. We did get some motion, you guys, with the camera. We got bobbing like that. Check out the footage here. Well, we got some toilet paper on the end of that. Yeah, I think the next time I go uh, rat fishing, I've got a better idea. But we need to focus on the inside. It would have been super cool to see a rat pop up out of here and catch one. We will do this one day where we will catch one. That will be the day. All right, guys, leave in the comments if you think the fishing pole idea here, fishing rats out of a sewer, is just as absurd as the pest controller who advised the homeowner to place these plastic owls around the property to deter the rats. Are they both equally absurd? I don't know, I think the fishing pole idea is way better, but I'd like to hear it from you guys. Personally, yeah. I think what's happening, because one of the rats, if you saw the, the, the body, yeah. I think there's babies somewhere and they're cannibalizing on that because we either there's either another entry point or there's extra food source. I don't think there's another entry point. I think there's food source somewhere that they're living and surviving on. So what I'd like to do yeah. is open up the closet yeah. ceiling. We'll do, because we're getting closer to this bathroom, mm -hmm. we'll do another smoke test just <clears throat> while we have this opened up. Okay. Plus, it'll give us the opportunity to set another trap. We're gonna move that trap from the garage area and the camera and move it over here. Okay. What do you guys think? You think we missed an entry point? Or is Jimmy right that there's extra food source or they're cannibalizing on their own babies. Hard to say, dealing with mother nature. All right, so we're protecting the closet. Chris and I are hearing a lot of activity in this closet. The reason why we're opening there also too is this is the newly remodeled bathroom. So we want to be able to see, hopefully we can see a lot going on in here, set up a trap. We're going to relocate that other trap that we put above the garage, we're getting no activity, so we're going to relocate that over to this area here once we open up. So we're getting her closet all protected. We'll begin to open up. All right, so now that we have the closet opened up, we're going to perform an extra smoke test just to make sure we've got this new bathroom here. And it, 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 everything seems to be okay here. We didn't get any smoke, but we're already here. We want to double check and have that extra, extra insurance that there's no other breaches. I'm only being third. Okay, so we've placed the twin trap. And more importantly, we did another smoke test. We're not getting any indication that there's another opening. So we've got one here above the master closet and then another one right above the other closet there. So wish us luck, you guys. Here's a uh, twin attic rat trapping or ceiling tip don't ever place your rat traps like this up against the wood keep it away okay you don't want to give them the upper hand by staying on top of this wood beam here and then uh, placing their heads into the hoodie or your rat trap so that's why we always keep it away to lure them right into the kill zone i'll try and remember that all right so we've got all that cleaned up we are set Later. Well guys, it's been about an hour since we've left Christian's house. Intense. Oh my gosh. A lot of oh, action in that there. rat is he's sticking his head in the twin hoodie, but it just hasn't activated, so it's just a matter of time. Check out the footage. We got the big one! Bam! Check out the footage.
a few moments later. Guys, it's a rat frenzy! Yeah! The twin traps just nailed two at the same time. That's, that's why, why we say twice the catch, twice as fast. All right, so that's three rats that we caught within the last 60 minutes. Two left, guys. Here we go. Later. It's been five days. It's been a war up in that ceiling area. And Lou and Christian have done an amazing job pulling all these rats out. But they want nothing to do with what you're about to see. So I'm just gonna stick my hand in there and see if I can pull this dead bloody wrap out of here without opening up the ceiling. So I forgot to mention, this is why we don't recommend just buying our trap and our hoodie and laying it on insulation. As you can see, we did that here. And that rat, we caught the first one easy, but that trap rolled around. The second one, he's moving his head in and, in and out. And when that trap is not secured, what happens is now the trap's moving along with the, the quick pace of the rat's head. And that's how you're going to lose rats in this type of environment. So that's why I always want to secure your rat traps down. The other benefit with our traps is that this is slippery. So they have no room to grab to pull away. If we would have had this on top of that insulation, we would have got that rat. It wouldn't have got away. All right, so there's one left. It's probably a three weeks old or so. But anyhow, that was the problem is that small one was eating the other rat and that's why it's surviving. So now that we've removed everything, hopefully this is the only source, food source right here and then the other side. So got our camera right here. We are fully activated. And talk about effective rat trap. There's no other rat trap on the market that's as effective as what you just saw. We caught two rats all at once, three times. So that's six rats, you guys. Did that make sense? We caught two rats three times, six rats total. I've never seen that guys with any other trap. So you can see that baby rat or the rat that's left to there strategically just went right in and just started to eat this rat up. So that's why putting 20 rat traps up in the ceiling or 10 rat traps is a complete waste because if you catch a rat on one trap and you got 20 other rat traps, well, guess what? The rats are gonna feel more comfortable coming and eating up their own that's why we, we only place two to three to four rat traps depending on the infestation. Later. Number 12, guys. I think that's the last one. Appreciate you. This deserves the rat dance. The twins do it again. Another successful rat extermination job solved. We will see you on the next one.